The newest hero to join the Overwatch lineup is Hammond, aka Wrecking Ball, the little hamster in the big, deadly hamster ball. Hammond is a tank with a difference. Get used to his unique abilities and it feels awesome to zoom and swing around the map, smashing down onto enemies from above. In this guide, we'll share some essential tips to master this rolling rodent and how we can benefit your team to help you win matches. One, master movement. Wrecking Ball's high maneuverability is his biggest strength and also makes him really fun to play. Hammond can retreat into his ball at any time to roll around the map and has one of the highest movement speeds of any character in this form. While in a ball, his speed can be boosted even further using his grapple ability. Attach to a corner or platform overhead and you can use the momentum to swing up to top speed, which also deals damage and knocks enemies back when you smash into them. Swing into the air and you can use Hammond's pile driver ability to slam down onto opponents. To be good with Wrecking Ball, you'll want to practice moving around as smoothly as possible and learn the best places in each map to take advantage of his movement. Look for open areas with good grappling points and avoid corridors and tight spaces which limit the chance to get up to speed. Many maps have areas where you can attach to a central pole and spin around indefinitely at top speed which can be a great defensive and zoning tool. You can also look out for shortcuts to get behind enemy lines and into unusual areas for surprise attacks. Try different maps in a custom game and explore a bit to find the best corners to cut. Here are a few of our favourites to try out. On Hanamura on the attacker's side, you can grapple onto the top of a building before the large gate and swing right over to the other side for an effective flank. Attacking on Volskaya Industries, you can flank around the first choke point by grappling onto this building and swinging around the outside. Finally, if you're defending on Hollywood, you can use this shortcut to launch a surprise attack on the point. Great if you also have your ultimate to clear out enemies. If you can pull these off reliably and outflank or surprise the other team, you'll prove to be a major disruption which can be a great help in a team push. 2. Practice Attack Patterns Hammond's weapons and abilities all focus on an attack style that's up close and personal with your target. His quad cannons are his primary attack, dealing 5 damage per shot with a magazine size of 80. So there's potential to do 400 damage before reloading, which would be even more if you take headshots into account. That's a lot of power, but the weapon's weaknesses are its range and long reload speed. The quad cannons have damage fall off and bullet spread from 15 meters, making them pretty ineffective at range. Therefore, the best attack plan is to use Hammond's advanced movement and pile driver ability in lethal combinations with his guns. Pile driver damages enemies in an area of effect, dealing 100 damage to targets in the center and reduced damage to those around. It also launches all enemies within its range into the air, making them easy targets for your team or for Hammond himself to unleash a barrage of gunfire. You want to get good at quickly aiming at targets in midair just after you land with the pile driver to deal the most damage. The basic version of this attack is to swing in, pile drive and shoot, but it's also possible to include a few extra shots before the pile driver if you've got the height. Shooting from above has the added bonus of getting more critical hits before you smash down. Get this right and you can kill low health enemies in one attack before they get the chance to react. 3. Understand Hammond's role Wrecking Ball is a tank with a lot of flexibility, but there are two areas where he really shines. The first of these is disruption. He can swoop into the enemy team's back lines and take out supports, flanking DPS and other squishy characters effectively. Coordinate with your team to make the most out of these diving attacks. If your teammates engage the enemy front line at the same time, they'll distract or draw fire from their tanks, allowing you to make the most of taking out the support characters behind. Alternatively, you can dive in first and distract the tanks, allowing your team to surprise them with their backs turned. On his own, Hammond may struggle against a big group and can quite easily get focused down by fire despite his large health pool. Attacking with backup is the best option, especially alongside another tank who can draw fire and deal damage at the same time. 
Hammond's other strength is in zoning and anchoring a point. The little hamster can influence the course of the enemy team or ensure an allied area stays under your influence using his grapple and minefield ultimate. Drop a minefield on a choke point to drive enemies towards another route or predictable path where the rest of your team can focus their fire. In assault or control matches, you can deploy your minefield onto the point you're capturing to deny enemy access. Get some height and deploy it in midair to cover a larger area. If you don't have your ult yet, on certain maps you can use your grapple to stay on the point and swing in a circular pattern to damage and knock away approaching enemies. This is really effective in Lijiang Tower, Nepal and Volskaya where there's a central structure or the roof to grapple onto. Use Hammond's defensive abilities together and he's a formidable fortress to break through. 4. Know when to shield up. Hammond's adaptive shield ability is not your typical tank shield and understanding when to use it is key to surviving scrapes and keeping pressure on your opponents. Activating the shield immediately gives you 100 barriers plus an extra 100 for every enemy within a 7 meter radius. As his shield doesn't expand beyond his character model, it's obviously not designed to shield other players and has limited use if Hammond tries shielding someone with his body. Its main use is to allow for some hard engagements where Hammond can withstand some heavy pummeling. As a disruptor, Wrecking Ball can swoop into the enemy's backlines and his shields allow him to escape and recover for another attack. Ideally, you want to try and swing over a group of enemies, use a pile driver attack pattern to take out a squishy character, then shield up and do as much extra damage as possible. Watch your health, especially when there are enemy tanks around, and swing away again before you take too much damage. The shield only lasts for 7 seconds, so you won't be hanging around for long anyway. If there's no enemy backup around, you can use your shields to stand up to heavier tanks one on one. For most other tanks, you'll need to reload your weapons at least once to deplete their HP, so activate your shield after your initial attack and you'll transform into ball form. In this mode, your weapons reload automatically and it becomes impossible to receive critical hits, so dodge as much as possible before unloading a fresh round of bullets into your target. The extra health from the shield should help survive enemy attacks in the meantime. 5. Deploy minefields effectively. Wrecking Ball's minefield ultimate deploys 15 proximity mines around Hammond, which can pose a lethal threat to anyone unfortunate enough to trigger them. Each mine deals 130 damage, and the field lasts for 20 seconds once it's active. If you deploy the mines while high in the air, they have a larger spread than if you're at ground level. As we mentioned earlier, minefield is best used for zoning and point control. The mines take a few seconds to activate, so they're unlikely to surprise anyone out of nowhere, but you can use them to deny access to an area and force the enemy to find another route. Be aware though that certain character abilities can counter the minefield. Reinhardt and Orisa's shields can withstand and take out Hammond's mines, and Zenyatta can clear most of them using the invulnerability from his ult. Other characters can shoot the mines to destroy them, but you'll at least slow their progress if they choose to force a way through. Hammond's minefield can also work to pick up kills, but you'll want to combine it with his pile driver or other players' ults to try and trap the enemies among the mines. Using pile driver, you can either deploy a minefield directly before or after pile driving. The time your enemies spend in the air gives them less time to get out of the way of your trap when it activates. Alternatively, combo your ult with a teammate who can impair enemy movement. May's Blizzard and Zarya's Graviton Surge can be particularly deadly combinations. Now that you're armed with the Hammond basics, you should be ready to rock and roll. After a bit of practice, you'll really get into the swing of things and find Hammond can be a great addition to the variety of team comps. And of course, you want to pick him because he's cute as hell. If you have your own Hammond tips, share them in the comments and click the thumbs up if you'd like to see more Overwatch guides. Subscribe to Ultimo Hombre for more game guides, tournaments and news from our live events. Thanks for watching and see you next time.